Welcome to another creative fight today. I'm doing um, a monster girl I did with the monster girl app by Ghoul Kiss. So I've drawn this character, if you guys can see, yeah, otherwise I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen, like right here or something, so you can see her better. Maybe you can't see her that well on my phone. Um, and I drew her hand. I chose to make her a child character because I figured that just would fit. Um, funny enough, this fits the Gore TV feet theme, so that's just. <laughs> I guess I'm not really doing Gort over officially, you know, it's just, I'm just doing my monster girls, so today I'm going to use, of course, my regular pencils and stuff, I'm going to use markers, and I'm going to use my Artista Fineliners, 48 pack, this is amazing pack, well worth the money, you can also get a 72 pack that includes like a um, pastel tray of colors, like with pastel colors. I'm not sponsored or anything, I'm just liking Artisa's products overall. So you get one tray with beautiful colored pens. These are all 0.4mm thick. And then you get this tray with other beautiful colors. So yeah, but let's get started, shall we? I think this is gonna be a really, really fun one. Okay, let's go! Hello guys! Yeah, welcome to this week's video. So as you can see, I'm going to flip back and forth between and shake the lines and see, try and match the colors with the picture. I'm just going to say that the hair color, like from the start of the markers, was really, really hard to match in general. But I had a lot of fun with this and it was fun using the um, fine liners because I literally really love the um, colored line art. It's really fun not to use you know, regular black ink. It's fun to use a like, colored one. <laughs> That's what you see me do here, and I decided to, you know, just do her. She has like a normal tone skin tone. She's just like very pale, so that's what I did for the for the liner. Oh, I'm so sorry about the blurriness. Again, my camera hits me, but I hope you guys can live with that. <laughs> yeah, and then it was this. This room was so fun because I really love this app. It's so fun, and it just has so much details. And I know I had trouble with details in my work and like color composition quite a bit, but using apps like these helps me my inspiration going. And as you saw in the picture, she draws. She looks like this, but she doesn't have the tail. You can only see like the bust up, like shoulders up or something. And then I decided to make the character a child. So as I said, I'm sorry about my head being in the way. Because I thought it was more fitting to have her as a child because of her outfit and then the hair hairstyle and the hair accessories and she's just cute. I did exaggerate the earrings to make them show behind her hands because she's like doing the pose with her hands going like boop on her cheeks. So she has big star earrings, she's wearing a... what are they called? Those um, pants thingies? What are they called? Uh, I can't never remember what they're called in English but... And then she wears just a cute shirt underneath and I normally don't like using a red and green together but you will like to see that color that I used for the pants is more of a pink tone than a red tone so it did work out for me. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being quiet. I am I don't know if you guys can hear it but my I have had like a slight cold for a couple of days, but I'm feeling better now. And at the end here, of course, I'm going to plug my Twitch, which I'm gonna do now as well. So, during Inktober, aka during October, I'm streaming every single day on my Twitch. I am going, of course, put the link on the screen and in the box below, so you can guys go and check it out and join me for my art streams. It will be so much fun. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitch in case you don't already do that. I think that's gonna be like a lot of fun, because... I like talking with you guys and that's like my best thing, I love interacting with you. Here I'm starting to erase the lines with my Needy Eraser. I love my Needy Eraser but sometimes it doesn't get, you know, like all the lines. So that's why I use um, my other eraser, this one I think it's like called a Mars Eraser. I think it's a stapler one, if I remember correctly. So that's what I did here and then I just, oh I need to fill in some lines because yeah, they just went poop. <laughs> nah, but it's can be hard to see sometimes, but luckily I, I fixed this, so that was good. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, what color should I use for this and that? And it's like, oh, trying to color match. These sheets are really useful, by the way, if you're not gonna color match. So here I picked up a really pale 
skin tone, I put on my smudge guard, that's the glove thing you can see me on my hand. And then I started coloring her skin. And <laughs> the colors don't really show up correctly on camera, they're more like dulled on camera, but I did insert a picture at the end so you guys can see the proper drawing of how it turned out. I didn't do any shading this time around, I didn't feel like it, so I mean, eh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Okay, no, I'm not gonna sing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so while I was doing this, I was uh, watching Drawing Waffles because I love her channel. In case she ever sees this video, Rin, I love your channel and your artworks, and especially your unboxing videos. They're so fun when you take like our challenges and stuff. And I actually think, thought about. Um, Signing up for um, what's it called? A stroller box. So if you guys want me to do that, like if you want to see me open scroller box and do art supplies with those supplies, to let me know, because I think that would be really fun. I'm thinking about be maybe buying a six-month subscription, but that's gonna be for later. So here I started on the hair, and the hair was the <laughs> absolutely hardest part to mimic in colors. And then I just decided to go for a blue theme. And because she has like a blue, green, greyish kind of um, hair style, hair style, hair, hair color. And I was like, <sighs> I, I tried to find really hard to find a market that fit that color, but I was like, no, no, I don't have anyone like that. So I go little poof, 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 overall here with the blue one, and I decided, okay, but I need to add some green. So I added this green color to it as well, and I was like, no, no, that doesn't really feel right, because then this green is too close to the green I'm going to use on her shirt, and yeah, then I went over it with a grey color, so, and then I think I actually got it, <laughs> but it was interesting, I love experimenting with colors and like blending colors and stuff like that, because I know, obviously I need help with that, <laughs> obviously, I do have thoughts on like taking skill chart classes and stuff like that, I try and use my brush markers as much as possible, but I also sometimes use my bullet markers because sometimes you don't have enough colors in your brush markers. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with bullet nibs. Uh, you just take some, I guess, some kind of craftsmanship to actually master them and to be able to use them properly. But that's what I think. I maybe I'm wrong. I could be totally wrong about that. But yeah, that's for the most part. Yeah, I use my brush tips. My brush names. Um, yeah. So this is with the green color. It looks a lot darker on the camera. Said so it's a lot more like yellowish green in real life. Yeah, I, I, I may have messed up on the lighting in this video. Cause and here I actually turned on the light I have on my side of my desk too. Cause I was like, okay, this lighting needs some help. It still doesn't show up properly with the colors, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, and you know. You know me, I'm, 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 a, I'm a poor person, so I can I just have to make do with what I have, which is what I always do, so... And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So guys, if you ever think about making art videos and stuff like that, you can make do with what you have. I'm currently using my webcam. I can't have too high settings as you've seen in previous videos, because my computer can't handle My computer is 7 years old, 6 years old, it's old anyway. And that's why. So that's why I'm saving up for a new computer. So yeah. Whenever my commissions are open, I am going to start linking them in the description box so you guys can go and commission me. I also have a coffee and I have a Patreon page. But Patreon page I need I need some help reworking that. Uh, so if you guys wanna help me with that and if you have suggestions for my Patreon, please let me know. Because that will really help me out. I want feedback from you guys. So yeah, here I'm going in and doing the, the spikes on her little tail and her, her what's it called, the, the barrettes in her hair. But I'm thinking, oh, I, wish I will mix like my amethyst and my slate colors, but I'm like, no, slate a bit too dark, so I didn't end up using slate. This is what amethyst look like. I used the amethyst one for that one. And here I'm almost finished with the drawing and I'm just finishing up and doing some last pieces. Here we go guys, she's all finished. I'm just going to clean up her colors a bit while I talk about the finished piece. So yeah, the, the, some of the colors were pretty hard to match 
according to the picture, you know. And they don't really show up on camera properly. They are a lot more colorful. They look like gray and dull on the camera. I can see that. I'm just trying to find my color a little better. There it is. But trust me, she's super colorful and bright and she's a happy girl and I decided to name her Nora. So she's my little happy monster girl, Nora. And if you guys want to draw her, feel free to do so. And yeah, that's not so much I have to say. I'm just gonna add some white gel pen as well. Here we can give her some details. Oh, I think you have see now that I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to give her her stitches. Well, not her stitches, but the stitches on her on this on her pocket. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> then we have my white gel pen that I'm gonna use to add some shine to her eyes and some minor details. Um, guys, if you want to see me draw more like every day, make sure you check out my Twitch because I stream every day of Inktober on my Twitch. And I think you should all come and check it out and hang out with me and we can talk art. We can talk, um, just, you know, hang out and be together, sketch together maybe. I'm doing Inktober on my Twitch, of course, I'm gonna leave you the link to my Twitch uh, on the screen and in the description box down below. So you can go and hang out with me. Uh, I think it will be really cool and really fun if you guys would like to, to just to hang out sometime over there. We can chat and, you know, draw together and I think that would be so much fun. I mean, I do usually have draw session with my real life friends, but it's a little bit hard if you like move, you don't live here, and or if you live like a bit farther away from me, but you still want to draw with me, then I suggest you go and check out my Twitch. Yes, I know self promotion, but yeah, you gotta do that too. There we go. There's a lot more life to her. So, what do you guys think of Nora? Let me know. I want to thank you everybody so much for watching, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, do all the YouTube stuff and tune in on Wednesday for another video. I will see you then, hope you have a good one, peace everybody, bye!